girls welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well today thank you so much for tuning in to today's video so we're going to be getting into this hair and makeup look i have a new wig that i'm going to be installing from a new hair company and i'm going to also show you guys how i got to this makeup using all drugstore slash affordable products so if you want to see how i got this look definitely make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that way you get notified anytime that i make a new upload i'm so excited to get into today's video because there's a lot of new products that i picked up from target and ulta i really needed to just kind of like refresh my everyday like makeup that i've been using for the last couple of months i feel like i i always get into the habit of like using the same thing so i really wanted to force myself to like go to target go to ulta and look at some new makeup specifically drugstore and affordable products and just kind of like refresh like the products that i've been using for my everyday makeup routine did a lot of shopping got a lot of new products i'm really excited about it i feel like the makeup turned out really good so i'm really happy about that it's always tricky when you're trying new products because it can always be like hit or miss but i feel like I picked out some pretty good stuff, so I'm excited to show you guys. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. If you want to see how I get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So you guys already know what the deal is. I always like to do hair first and then makeup afterward, so let's get into this hair install. I do have a new wig that I'm going to be installing today. Shout out to Love Me Hair Company for sending over this beautiful unit that we're going to be installing, as well as all these little goodies to help with our install. This is a full lace wig, so this wig is going to be perfect if you're you're the type of person that likes to do different styles with your wig and different partings and stuff like that it's all full lace <laughs> so this is pretty much what the wig looks like it came already like styled with these cute curls which i thought was super cute so yeah let's go ahead and install her i'm gonna leave all of the information for this unit down below in the description box if you guys have any questions as well as the link to the exact wig that i'm wearing so since this wig is full lace, we're definitely gonna have to do some customizing on the hairline, just so everything fits properly, especially around the ears. So I went ahead and parted away like around the ears first, just to make sure that part fits okay, like along the sideburns. And then I'll go ahead and start laying this lace down. I did bleach the knots on this unit and did some plucking, but I made sure to do that off camera because then this video would be like an eternity long. <laughs> so once I'm done customizing the hairline, I'll go ahead and start laying this lace down. As always, I'm using my favorite lace adhesive from Ebon. This is their Extreme Hold Lace Adhesive and it comes in like the black can. I love this stuff. It's water soluble so it's perfect for me. You guys already know I like to take my wigs off at night. I do not try to wear my wigs for more than a day. I definitely prefer to just, you know, take them off at night and let my hair breathe. So I love using lace adhesives that are water soluble that just come off super easily with water. But this lace adhesive is amazing. Even when it's like super hot outside and humid, it definitely holds up still. So yeah, I'll be using that to secure this lace down. I'm then gonna switch over to the Ebon Extreme Hold Lace Melting Spray. So this is different from the lace adhesive in that it just kind of like melts the lace more into the skin. I feel like ever since I started using this particular product, it just makes my installs look that much more flawless. But I'll make sure to use that once I'm all done cutting away all of the extra lace. So this is pretty much the wig after I'm all done installing it. As you can see, you get plenty 
a parting space. Like it looks like scalp all throughout the wig. You can part this wig any way that you want. You can also put this wig into a cute high ponytail. There's plenty of lace in the back for you to secure down. I only ended up gluing down the lace in the front, but there's plenty of lace in the back of the wig as well if you wanted to do like a really snatched high ponytail. But overall this wig is so, so cute. I just love the fact that you can do like any type of style that you want with this wig because it's full lace. I just went in with a little bit of lace tint to lighten up the lace just a tad. This one's also from Evan. This is their lace tint in the shade medium brown. So I'm just going to spray that very gently along the edges and then I'll apply my elastic bands to further melt down the lace into the skin. So now it's time to style her. I'm just gonna do some cute, like voluminous curls with this wig, nothing too crazy. I think this is like a one and a quarter inch barrel or like a one inch one. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going over to like my local coffee shop to get some editing done. So I'm not going like too crazy with the hairstyling. Just some cute, simple curls is perfect. So I'm all done curling the hair. I'm just gonna run my wide tooth comb through these curls just to loosen them up a bit. And then I'll go in with my hot comb to create my side part. You guys know how much I love a good side part. That's like my signature style. Anytime that I'm not really sure what I wanna do with like styling my hair, I just like instantly go to a side part. That's just like my, my go-to, it's a signature. I just, I love a good side part. <laughs> I am gonna be also adding some layers into this wig. I'm not gonna cut like too much of the hair because I really wanna maintain like the length that the wig is at, but I just really wanted to add some extra layers. I love how layers just instantly give your hair some life. Now she's looking all voluminous, with lots of body, lots of movement, so cute. <laughs> and then finally, I'm just gonna style the edges. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, just a few swoops here and there in the front. I'm using a little bit of the got to be ultra glue gel to style them. And then for the final finishing touch, I'm going to go in with some hairspray. This is the got to be high insta hold hairspray. I'm just going to add that to like the top so there's no like flyaways from like the parting and uh yeah, just to keep the hair in place. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the hair. Like I mentioned before, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information for it down below in the description box. So if you guys have any questions, just make sure to check there. So now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into some makeup. So let's get into some makeup now because I got a lot of like new stuff that I just recently got that I really want to try and I'm very excited about it. Almost all of this stuff is like new stuff that I just picked up like yesterday. So let's get into it. I'm going to be doing just like my everyday makeup routine. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy because I don't have like anywhere to go per se after this, but I'm going to be like going over to like my local coffee shop to do some editing. I'm gonna bring like my laptop with me and stuff. So I want my makeup to be done, but I'm just like, at the same time, I'm like, oh, it doesn't need to be like that crazy. I'm literally just going to the coffee shop. You know, we can keep it chill. <laughs> but yeah, first product that I'm gonna be using, um, I did all of like my skincare and everything off camera already. So I'm just gonna jump into some primer. Um, I picked up yesterday this primer from Elf. This is the Power Grip Primer, and this stuff is amazing. If you guys haven't used this, definitely give this primer a try. It's really like gripping. It's like a, a good dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I used to use this one all the time, like last year or like the year before that. Honestly, I can't even tell you why I stopped using this primer, but it's back and I love it. It's about to get like real warm outside with the summer rolling around. So it's good to have a primer that's gonna grab onto your makeup real good. So I like to kind of like let that dry down for a sec. I might even like actually go in with a tad bit more right there, just place it on the nose. Cause my nose is oily. Cool. So next thing I'm gonna do is go in with some foundation. I'm not really sure which one I wanna use though. I got like three different foundations yesterday just being extra cause I wasn't really sure which one I kind of wanted to go with. So I got like the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation from NYX. I also got this one from Maybelline. This is their Superstay Active Wear foundation. And then I got this one. 
I got this one from NYX. This is the Bear With Me Blurring Tint Foundation. This one I actually swatched while I was in Ulta and the finish of this looked really, really nice. I might actually just go with this one. Like, I don't think I'm gonna use the, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop one because I already know what that one's like. I've used it before. Let's try this out. It's very interesting. This might actually be the wrong shade. Wow, that's way too much. Why did I do that? It's not too bad. Ooh. She's got, she's got coverage, okay. I'm gonna use a brush to apply this because I don't know, recently I've been really liking brushes to just kind of like apply the foundation. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's real nice. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. The way that it like smoothed my skin just now was like pretty nice. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't mind me. I haven't, I feel like I haven't used a new makeup in so long. So I'm like, whoa, I'm really shook right now. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. I was afraid that the color was gonna be kind of off. It looked kind of strange at first. It looked very orange, but I think because it's a tint, it's definitely more like forgiving. I'm very glad that I'm using like a brush too. I feel like matte foundations like this just look better when applied with a brush versus like a sponge. Cause this reminds me of the soft matte foundation from NARS. And that one I really, really like applying with a with a brush. This is this is really nice. Mm, this is really, really nice. I like this a lot. I think I'm gonna get the next shade up because I think this one is just like a tad too light. If you need this one as a reference though, this one's in shade Caramel or number 13. Okay, we're off to a good start, I love it. So concealer is the, uh, this one from Maybelline. This is a new concealer for sure. Like I've never seen this one before. This is the Super Stay Active Wear Concealer in shade number 27. I don't really know how this concealer is gonna behave, so I'm just gonna take it slow. So I'm just gonna go right over here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like an eye twitch here. I don't know what the heck is going on. I think I need to get more sleep. I thought this was gonna be like more full coverage, but it looks like it's more of like a medium, but that's okay. Ah, oh, very pretty. Okay. Oh, wow, this is nice. You know, I am definitely like a full coverage gal when it comes to concealer, but I really don't mind this. I feel like this is more of like a medium coverage. I like the fact that it's not drying too fast. Like it's, I have time to kind of like blend it out and play around with it. I hate concealers that like dry super quick because it's like, then you can't blend it out and it's like so annoying. I'm gonna see if I can build this up a little bit more, just out of curiosity. It's gonna do a little bit extra right over here. Yes, you can build it up. Very nice. Love, not heavy, very lightweight. I really need to like switch my makeup up more often because I feel like I'm way too surprised at like the quality of all of this stuff. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, I'm gonna try this color corrector from e.l.f. I thought this was super interesting. This is their camo color corrector and this one's in the shade yellow. I'm gonna use this, just a teeny tiny bit of this on the under eyes because I already double layered that concealer so i definitely don't want to go in with like too much more product but i'm super curious to see what this looks like so yeah we're just gonna go for it i'm just gonna do a teeny tiny bit right over here every now and again i do enjoy a brighter under eye it's all right it's kind of like disturbing the concealer underneath so it's definitely something that you probably want to use prior to your concealer which makes sense like color correctors you typically want to use them like underneath your makeup just to fix that i'm gonna go in with my concealer again leave it to me to end up with like three layers of product on my under eye area <laughs> I feel like I'm always like super full coverage when it comes to like my under eyes, even when I don't even try. Moving along, I wanna do some cream contouring cause I got this 
foundation stick from Black Opal. I found Black Opal while I was shopping in Ulta. I had no idea that they were in stores now, which is so awesome because these foundation sticks are amazing. This is their um, Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation in shade Snatch Sepia. These little foundation sticks are so good. If you have not tried them, definitely give them a try. They're very full coverage, so you only need like a tiny bit if you're gonna use it to contour or like bronze. I'm just using that same brush that I used to apply the foundation. Sometimes I have to remind myself that I'm like under super bright light, so like not to go too crazy with like my contour. I picked up a new liquid blush as well. This one's from NYX. This is their Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint. This one's in the shade Almost Famous. I am a sucker for like a orange or peach blush. That's kind of just like my go-to when I'm doing blush. So as soon as I saw this color, I was like, wow. I need that. <laughs> we're just gonna see what we're working with here. I've never used this particular product before, but I already love the fact that it's like a matte. Like I love a good matte liquid blush. Yes, that color was good choice, good choice. I feel like these like orangey shades are like perfect for the summer too, because it just kind of gives the skin like that warm, like sun kiss type of look to it. Oh yeah, this color is real good. I love the finish of this, these blushes. This is so nice, I like this. I'm only using like the tiniest amount and I'm getting all of this pigment. And now I want to start setting everything with some powder. When I was at Target, I saw Beauty Bakery. Now, Beauty Bakery isn't necessarily a drugstore brand. I would consider them to be more of like a high-end brand, but I, I feel like this powder is more like on the affordable side if you're looking for like a new setting powder. So this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. And this is the color Cassava, which is like a really pretty yellow. I am definitely a fan of this powder for sure. I've used this powder in the past. It's amazing. I'm actually like low key, like super, not even low key, like high key, like super excited because I haven't used this powder in a long time and it's just it's just so nice like if you haven't tried the flower powders from beauty bakery like you definitely need to to try them they're amazing get off of me sticker go away so let's go ahead and give this a little a little tap here get some product out let's do it so i'm not gonna like bake or anything just yet i just want to like set the concealer so I'm just gonna go in with like the tiniest amount of powder, nothing crazy. Setting the under eyes first is gonna make sure that the under eye doesn't look like super cakey and weird when I do go in to like do my bake. She's looking real good, y'all. She's looking real good. Oh yeah, this is such a beautiful powder. I forgot how much I love this. She's so nice. She's so pretty, look at her. I love, I really do. So I picked up this bronzer from ColourPop. I've never used this one before. This is their matte press bronzer and it's in the shade Pacific Peach. I'm just gonna go in with like a really fluffy brush. And just like tap off any extra on a paper towel. Okay, I'm not mad at the formula. I do wish though that there was like a darker shade than this. I think this one's like the deepest one that I saw. It's all right, it's just an okay bronzer to me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back in with that Beauty Bakery powder and my little bit of powder puff from Huda Beauty. And I'm just gonna start to snatch the sides of the nose here. Just gonna switch brushes here so I can bake the bridge. I'm gonna be using another Beauty Bakery product. This is the Bite Size Snackaroons blush. Oh, it's so cute. This one is in the shade Hey Pumpkin. It's a cute little like orangey type of color though. So let's see what she's giving. Oh, wow. Talk about pigment. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's a lot of pigment, okay. Oh, this color is beautiful. I'm telling you, orange blush during the summertime is such a vibe. I'm just gonna like tap some 
powder here because I feel like I went a little wild in my placement with of my bronzer. So I'm just gonna clean that, clean that up a tad. But so far so good. I'm I'm liking everything. Like everything has been since been pretty solid. So next thing I'm gonna do is brows. I'm gonna use this. Um, brow pomade from Maybelline. I've been really enjoying like a sculpted brow so I went with like a brow uh, pomade instead of a pencil. This one's gonna be in the shade Deep Brown. Oh it comes with a brush, how cute. Yay! I'm not gonna use that but that's very nice to know. Yeah so I'm just gonna toss that to the side. I'm not mad at the color, it's a little cool toned. mad at this product like this brow pomade is pretty good it's a little bit more like cool tones in color than i'd like so i'd probably switch out for like, either the next shade up because i think that one is like a little bit on the warmer side i'm gonna start setting that with a little bit of mascara gel some brow gel this is also from maybelline this is their brow fast sculpting gel in the shade of deep brown as well okay then for the lash line like the lower lash line i'm going to use the la girl ultimate intense stay auto liner in shade super bright i've used this plenty of times on my channel it's just like a cute little beige um, eye pencil. So I went off camera and prepped my false lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara now. This one that I'm using is from L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is an oldie but a goodie. Like I used to use this mascara all the time back in high school. It's such a good one. Am I the only one who's like sniffs and brand new <laughs> mascara? I don't know why, but I like the smell of new mascara. I'm just gonna do a couple coats of, la of mascara on the top lashes. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this mascara, but I absolutely love it. It just makes the lashes look so like voluminous and like brushed out and everything. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a really good one. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my little false lashes here. dust off this bake now. I'm just starting to realize that I did not get a drugstore highlighter. So I'm just gonna use this one from Rare Beauty. I love this highlighter. It's so, so pretty. You guys know me, I keep it real simple when it comes to highlighter. So I'm just gonna put this on the nose. And I think that's about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start my little lip combo. I feel like this look came out so cute. So lips are gonna be um, NYX first. This is the Line Loud Lip Liner in shade Total Baller. And I'm also gonna use Rebel Kind. These are so good. They're very, very creamy and they just glide onto the lips really well. And um, yeah, these are just some, some bomb lip liners. So I'm just gonna line first using this color and then I'll use the darker brown lip liner to do like my contour. Lipstick is gonna be from NYX as well. This is their Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream and this one is gonna be in the shade Cheeks. Mm, I really like this color. I definitely wanna try some gloss cause I picked up some glosses. I don't know, I have like three new lip glosses so I kind of wanna try at least one of them. These are the This Is Milky glosses. I've definitely used these glosses before and they're super cute. I just kind of wanted to try some like other colors. I'm gonna use this light pink one first and then if I want more color then I'll just like add the peachy one on top. I like this color, but I kind of want a little bit more pigment. So I am gonna go in with like the peach, but that baby pink is so, that is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, 
she's so cute oh my gosh i'm glad that i went with like the peach because that lipstick underneath is like much lighter so i think the peach just kind of like balances it out so it's not like too too light final touches i'm just gonna add my little beauty marks to set i'm gonna use the ColourPop no filter setting mist I'm gonna do just a little touch up using some setting powder. This one's actually from ColourPop. This is their no filter setting powder. This one's in the shade Peach. I'm just gonna tap this very gently on the areas that I like to stay matte. So that's gonna be like right in the center here. I don't mind like the dew and glow like over the cheek area and like over here and the forehead. I just like really like this particular area like right in here to be like nice and matte i usually like to go in with like a powder just and just do like a little touch up after setting spray and that is it all right guys so this is the finished look i just went ahead and changed clothes because i'm about to head out to get some editing done i'm so impressed with all the products that i use especially this nyx foundation i think it's like my favorite product that i used out of all of the products that i tried today while i was at target i also picked up some new fragrances from this brand called finery i am actually like super in love with these so i wanted to show you guys as well this is the one that i'm wearing today this is their sunforia fragrance it has notes of minoy blossom orange flower and amber wood and the scent is supposed to smell like warmly kissed by the golden zen <laughs> i just wanted to like throw this out there too it's like fragrances to check out while you're at target These ones from finery are definitely like really good i love this one right here as a natural fact i think i'll spray some more I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If there are any products that I use that you kind of were on the fence about, hopefully this kind of like helped you out seeing the product in action. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Sending lots of love and hopefully I will see you in the next one.